Hi, this is Anthony Aguiar, and you are about to watch my short film, Cyprus. So, Cyprus is a, is a film that I am so grateful has gotten such a kind response from people over the years. Um, I, I really hold this film very close to my heart. Um, as you could probably tell from all the commentaries I've done so far, I mean, every work I do is personal. I mean, I, I, I feel like any person who's an artist or does any sort of creative endeavor, they can't help but not make anything personal. And um, but I, I just I don't fight that. I embrace that. But um, but yeah, I don't I don't want to talk a lot about the meaning of this of this film. You know, um, I, I believe every every interpretation is correct. I have my own interpretation and that's true for me, but yours can be just as valid. But anyways, um. Let me talk about the technical things because a lot of people ask about the technical uh, aspects. So we shot Cyprus without any sound. Um, I had a, a, my friend Ish Castillo. He would go. He wouldn't even be around us. He was just going around the location, just recording sounds and stuff that I could use later. Uh, we shot the film on the original Black Magic Pocket, no Black Magic Cinema Camera, the original one, the one that looked like a big, uh, strange box. Uh, the 2.5K version. We did not shoot this raw. I believe we shot this on ProRes 1080p. Used two lenses for this, the Tokina 11 and 16, and a Sigma 30mm 1.4. Um, what you're seeing here is not true 8mm. Um, it's actually an iPod Touch app that we used at the time. And I picked um, the filter that had the least amount of noise and scratches because to me, that's a dead giveaway that it's not a true um, film emulation when they overdo the scratches. Because, I mean, the people, you know, that technology wasn't so horrible. I mean, it had to look good to some extent. I mean, people had to buy it back then. But yeah, that's, so that's, that's an iPod touch. Uh, and then the score you're listening to is done by a really talented composer. Brilliant. He did the first short, official short that I've ever done, too. Um, his name is Red Bennett. And I think his score is really beautiful. Wonderful score for this. Um, we shot Cyprus in two days, um, mostly because of the amount of takes that we would do. Um, it was not it was not a crazy amount, but it was just because we didn't do really do rehearsals. So back then, I would I would do a lot of the rehearsals through just doing takes and stuff, uh, which no, I've changed. You know, we don't I don't really work that way too much anymore. I like to um, do rehearsals now instead, but but yeah, we shot this in two days. It wasn't we weren't there weren't long days, you know. They're not like these crazy fourteen-hour stuff. It's like you know four hours maybe. Uh, it, it's a very small amount of time, really. But this is this in, this location here is in Northern California. It is it is really inspiring, and and if you like the look of it now. If you like the look of it in this film, if you actually go there, it's, it's just completely breathtaking and inspiring. Um, uh, the, let me talk about the actors. Um, this The film is starring two Kyles. Uh, there's Kyle Jones, who's the main character with the camera, and then there's Kyle Glasso. Again, two ver very brilliant, talented actors. Uh, I found Kyle Jones through a, a YouTube short that um, uh, a friend, Brandon Rogers, um, he had this series on YouTube called Neighborhood Patrol, and I found Kyle Jones through there, and I reached out to him. I found out we both lived in the same area, and I really wanted to work with him, and he agreed, and he I think he's so great in this. He, he has such a beautiful cinematic face. And then uh, Kyle Glasso, I reached out to him. I saw him in shorts, I believe, and he was also fantastic. Really good. They're both very great at silent film acting, which relies so heavily on your facial expressions. This part coming up, I'll, I'll explain it when it happens, but um, anyways, you'll, you'll see a tree there that's fallen in the background, which just was just there. It just happened to be there. And I think it works so perfectly. It was almost perfectly placed there just for us. Um, and it's not, it's not, I have since gone back there and it's, it's been removed, but I'm so glad that it perfectly aligned that it was there. Uh, this part right here, I, I don't know why, I was the one messing up. I would laugh, I would burst out laughing during this part when he touches his hair right here. That was just, I don't know why, 
but I just had a laughing fit and I just couldn't stop laughing. But we got through it. <laughs> I got through it. And, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, like I said, that, that tree there was perfectly, perfectly put there for us, I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, and, um, I'm trying to think some other relevant things to say. Oh yeah, so, like I said, all the sound was put in afterward. So, uh, I was directing them like a silent film director where I would, literally be talking them through the take okay do this do that which was really liberating because usually you can't say anything everyone's gonna be quiet but you can only do it for these types of projects where you're going to do all the sound afterward so um we this makeup work was done by this this um talented makeup artist and uh she did a really good job in a very short amount of time too to make him look uh deceased and uh, and he did a great job playing dead. That's me. That's my voice gasping. I had to um, pretend to be Kyle. Like I said, I had to redo the sound. Mm, there's the the flower. I've just been so grateful just to read comments on YouTube and back back in the day on Vimeo too, uh, of just people people's reactions and people's interpretations of this film, and it, it's really warmed my heart, especially the ones that. Uh, have aligned with my intentions, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the correct intention. But um, I'm so grateful for people embracing this short and really reaching out to me and telling me about it and that they have enjoyed it. And I just want to say thank you. And thank you for supporting um, me and my filmmaking journey by watching this film and liking the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.